Gamasio sesame salt. Here's how and why to make this at home. Here's how to make Gamasio sesame salt, a wonderful condiment to use on anything that you would apply salt to. Starting with whole sesame seeds, raw sesame seeds in the skillet with a moderate amount of pink Himalayan sea salt. It could be Morton salt, could be any salt. And as the heat begins to cause the sesame seeds to release their natural oil, that oil begins to coat the salt, making it more digestible, easier to assimilate the nutrients. And we do all need salt in our diets. Now, I'm not here to prescribe anything for anyone. If you are on a salt-restricted diet, this may be something that you can or cannot have in your diet. But if you do have salt in your diet, this is a wonderful way to take salt as a condiment. And I do believe that it causes you to use less or feel like you need less because of the nutty flavor of the sesame roasted coating the salt. Eggs, soups, salads, whatever dish that you would normally add salt as a condiment after the cooking process, of course, just as a table condiment. So you can see already the golden brown that's happening with the sesame seeds. And I have to really keep this thing moving because they can burn very rapidly when they reach temperature. Okay, it's getting near. I'm gonna to have to probably turn the fire off and then continue stirring because they still have the heat and they are still cooking. I learned to prepare this in the Yoga Institute many years ago when I was schooled in macrobiotics, which was a dietary preference that was very popular and trendy back in the early 70s in Los Angeles. And in a lot of parts of the world, macrobiotics is well known. It doesn't matter what diet you subscribe to, if you use salt and you're able to use salt, this is a wonderful condiment. Gamasio, G-O-M-A-S-I-O. -S -I -O. Sesame salt. Doesn't take long to make it on your own. I'll be showing you the next step. It's really rather simple. Did I mention that there is no need to add oil or anything into the skillet when you begin to roast these sesame seeds? simply because the sesame seeds contain their own oil, which will be released once the heat hits the seed. Roasted sesame seeds with salt. And that's how Gamasio is made. As you can see, I'm in the final stages of roasting these seeds. I've already turned the heat off because the skillet is red hot and these seeds are at the verge of possibly burning if I did not turn the heat off. And here we go on to step two. Now I have freshly roasted sesame seeds that have coated the salt that I added to them. Now I need to render it into a coarsely ground powder for the condiment. Some people like it more or less coarse, it's entirely up to you. So I use a small nut and seed or coffee grinder to go ahead and process it. However, you can use a mortar and pestle as we used to do in the old days in the Yoga Institute. It was said to be a better vibration. Now I would not 
take very much at a time, otherwise the heat will cause the nut and seed grinder to lock up its top and it will not release. And then you have to let it cool down before you can get it. Okay, so here we go. That's it right there, okay? So now I turn it upside down, knock it. And once you have ground it just for a quick second or two, tap it down into the lid and then we'll release the lid. And here we go. I like to use a mason jar. And I will just continue until I fill that jar up. Make sure that you seal it and put it in the refrigerator because the oil properties of the ground sesame seeds will oxidize and it could go rancid. Again, any nut or seed that has been cut will turn rancid because it is then exposed to the air. Okay, all done. That didn't take long at all. It only takes about a second in the nut and seed grinder. But do remember one thing. If you consume nuts or seeds without breaking them, without them at least being cracked, your body will pass them through without being able to assimilate the nutrients. So that being said, make sure and have it at least coarsely ground. So I always like to keep a little bit of sesame salt on the table as a condiment to add to foods after they're already prepared. And then I do keep in the refrigerator a mason jar sealed with the remainder so that it does not oxidize from being exposed to the air. Now you may be tempted to run your finger through the remains of the, the oily gamasio that's been left in the grinder. Don't do it unless it's unplugged, okay? So that's my safety warning. And make gamasio at home and enjoy it. As with any nut or seed, the moment it's been cracked and exposed to the air, oxidation turns it rancid. For best results, make it at home fresh. And by the way, this nut and seed grinder is a Braun, B-R-A-U-N, and this has served me for many decades, the same small appliance.